Hi, I'm Noah, and I'd like to give you an introduction to our new product, Superhuman Go. First, let's step back and think about what Grammarly has been building. For the last 15 years, we've looked at how people actually work, and we see that they are spread across dozens or hundreds of different tools. And we think that AI tools need to meet people wherever they actually are. And so Grammarly is really the only AI agent that works across the million plus websites and applications where people actually get work done. And we'd like to expand those capabilities. Right now, we have a very powerful highway that takes this writing and communication support directly to where users are working. But we want to expand that, adding all sorts of functionality so that we can assist users wherever they are on all of the tasks that they have on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's our vision. We're trying to take our single product and turn it into a platform. And that platform is Superhuman Go. Go is the AI assistant that works wherever you work. It knows all of your context on screen and off, and it helps you without you even having to ask. Let's go through those one by one. First, Go works wherever you work. You don't have to change where you work or how you work because Go is in every tab and tool. Next, Go connects to all of your most important apps. With hundreds of connectors, we know everything about your most important tasks and can help pull in relevant information and take actions for you. And finally, Go constantly looks for ways to help so that it can proactively provide assistance, just like Grammarly, without you having to remember that it's there or learn how to prompt it effectively. So let's look at the vision of how we think all of those components come together in an AI assistant that's with you wherever you work, proactively offers support, and knows the context of everything you're working on. Let's take an example here of a salesperson writing to a customer. You can see in this email, I have a variety of underlines, just like you might expect from Grammarly. But these are more than just writing suggestions. Let's walk through these one by one. First, you can see here that the Gmail agent is telling me that Wendy actually signs off her emails Wendy, not Windy. So I probably have that wrong. I'll correct that and change it over to Wendy. Next, you can see I have a classic Grammarly suggestion. I have a typo in what I'm writing, and I'd like to make sure that everything I have is professional and correct. Next, I have a notification for my CRM. In this case, it says that the opportunity I have for Wendy lists the interested item as a balloon basket, not a pogo stick. So I probably should update that to match the opportunity in Salesforce. Next, we have an internal system. This is a custom-built agent that my company, Acme, has developed, and it has a list of all of our inventory and their availability. And so you can see here that the balloon basket actually isn't going to be available until Friday, so I probably shouldn't promise that it'll be available on Wednesday. And then finally, I have a suggestion from the Google Calendar agent, and it says, you've suggested 10 a.m. Would you like to send a calendar invite? And it will go ahead and send an invite directly in my calendar to Wendy and update the text to match accordingly. And just like that, I've worked with a variety of different agents, not only to communicate better in my email, but also to pull in relevant information from my CRM, a company-specific agent to keep track of inventory, my calendar and email data, and quickly taking actions right from the context of writing this email. And just like that, I can send off my email. So that's the vision of what we think a proactive, contextual, always-on assistant will feel like. But how does the product actually work at launch? Well, let's look at a real demo of how this product will feel for a user on launch day. Let's say that I'm a product manager and I'm working on a PRD. I've already used Grammarly functionality, but I'd like to upgrade to this new Superhuman Go capability. So I go into my Grammarly settings and I can turn on a new upgraded experience called Superhuman Go. When I turn on that new functionality, I'll be introduced to the new set of agents, what we think of as your new AI collaborators. We tell users that this functionality goes with them wherever they work and comes with a team of helpful agents, including Grammarly. As we walk through this, we introduce the idea of working wherever the user works, no matter what tab or tool. We explain that Grammarly is a key part of this capability, but it goes much beyond writing and communication. We have all sorts of new agents so users can connect to their most important tools, whether that's their email, their task tracker, their CRM, or anything else. And between all of these capabilities, we now have writing agents from Grammarly, we have connector agents, and we have partner agents that we'll be launching with, all available in a new agent store. And most importantly, we explain that these agent skills work wherever you work, and we see Go fly to the side of the screen and we tell users it's Go time. And as user scrolls down, they can actually click on this Go notch and be introduced to the real product, Superhuman Go, right here on the side of their screen. Now let's see what using Go will feel like. Let's go back to the PRD that I was working on and start to ask Go for some suggestions. For example, I'll ask something simple, like show me places 
where I can be more concise. Go is always able to read what I have on my screen and to provide suggestions in line. So I don't just get chat responses back on this tab on the side of my screen, but I actually get inline suggestions. Where you can see Go providing specific changes, which I can accept and dismiss, decide which of these changes I'd like to include in my writing. And I can go back and forth as many times as I'd like with Go until I'm happy with the output. And of course, we also have the classic Grammarly capabilities that users are used to. We have our proofreader that takes users through all of the correctness, clarity, engagement, and other types of corrections to make sure that they're communicating as effectively as possible. We also have our new writing agents that we introduced just a few months ago. For example, I could use our reader reactions agent that will identify a potential audience and give me ideas about what that audience might remember, the types of questions they might ask, and give me specific feedback on how to improve my writing for that specific audience. We have a variety of these new writing agents available in Go wherever you're working. But let's look at a non-writing specific use case. Let's go back to Go and attach the Gmail agent. In this case, I'd like to know whether I talked about this PRD with one of my colleagues, Scott. So I could ask a question like, what was the otter summary of my last meeting with Scott? I know that I send all of my otter summaries directly to my email, and so I could quickly search through all of those summaries right here from the context of writing out this document. And I don't have to jump out of my flow and open up another tool and search for the relevant information. I can simply ask an unstructured natural language question and it will find my most recent meeting. You can see here on October 14th, Scott and I met and it has the details of everything we talked about in that meeting. And it looks like in this case, we didn't actually discuss this PRD. So I'd like to actually send Scott some details about this doc and find some time for us to meet. So let's go to the Gmail agent and actually send over a summary of this doc. So I could say something like, send a summary of this doc to Scott Zucker. And because Go has access to the context of what I'm working on, it can not only read what's on the screen and create a proposal of a potential email to send to Scott based on the contents of this doc, but it actually can take actions directly for me. So you can see it wants to send an email to Scott. There's the details, there's the subject. When I'm ready to go, I just say, yes, go ahead and send that, that will be available. And now Go has sent off the summary directly to Scott, but let's make sure that that actually sent. So now if I click over to my email, I can see here that my most recently sent email, there it is, directly this morning, I sent an email to Scott with a summary of this doc, perfect. Now I've sent him a summary, but I'd actually like to set up some time for us to talk over this live. So let's set up a new agent. I can always hit plus and browse a variety of agents that I have access to with this in-product directory, but also we'll have a full online agent store where users can peruse a wide variety of agents for all sorts of use cases. In this case, I know I wanna set up the calendar agent. So when I look at the Google Calendar agent, I'll get all sorts of details about how this agent can help me, the particular types of skills it has and the data sources that it can sync from. Once I'm ready, I can simply click sign in, and this will take me to a setup flow. In this case, I've already signed in, but all I would have to do is connect with my Google account and click done. Now that I've done that, I'll see the Google Calendar agent is added to my team of AI collaborators here in Superhuman Go. So now right here from the context of writing my document, I can start asking questions from the Google Calendar agent. For example, I could ask, when am Scott Zaccarino and I free to meet? I'd like to find time for us to talk about this proposal, and I don't wanna to have to jump out of my flow and search through both of our calendars. So right here from the context of my doc, I can ask the agent to go search through our calendars and find time when we're both free. And there you go. It looks like it found some time when we're both available, and it looks like the best slot might be tomorrow evening. So let's say, let's book the 5.30 tomorrow to talk with Scott about this proposal. And again, because Go has access to everything that I'm working on, it can use the context of the doc that I'm looking at to set up all of the details about this doc. Once I'm happy and I'd like to go ahead and send off that proposal, I'll click yes. And it will send an invite directly to Scott's calendar right here from the context of whatever I'm working on. It says that it's been scheduled. Let's go confirm that by looking at my calendar. I'll go to tomorrow and I can see in the evening, I now have Pedal Pal proposal discussion. Perfect. Now, as a final example, let's look at a third party agent. We're going to launch with a variety of exciting partners, including the likes of Kim Scott's Radical Candor. This agent will give feedback in the style of her fantastic book about how it can be more candid and direct 
with what I'm communicating. So I could simply ask a question like, show me places where I could improve my doc. And the Radical Candor agent will read through what I'm working on and give me feedback right in line based on Kim Scott's advice in her book on how I could be more effective in my communication in this doc. Again, these suggestions are in line right in the place that I'm actually working, and I can choose which of these suggestions I'd like to accept and dismiss. I don't have to go back and forth from another tool or tab. I don't have to copy context from a chat window. It's all right here in the place that I'm doing my work. So hopefully those examples give you an idea of what this new product feels like at launch and our vision for how we want Superhuman Go to feel in the future. An always on, contextually aware, proactive AI assistant. Thanks for your time and hope you give the product a try.